Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best most insane 300k team right now in FIFA 21 If you guys are looking for an incredible team to increase your wins in foot champions and in division rivals Then guys, this is the team for you But before I go ahead and dive into this incredible squad builder I got a quick little message for you guys So let me get straight into it If you guys want me to to build your own personal squad builder yes that's right guys you heard correctly if you want me to build your own personal squad builder all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you guys have to do is simply like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications alright and once you've done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my Instagram follow my Instagram and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps and then I'll simply build your squad it's so easy it's so simple and then you can end up like these guys So it's literally that simple guys so make sure you follow the steps if you guys want me to build your own personal squad but anyways enough for the chit chat i hope you guys do end up enjoying this video without further ado let's waste no more time and get into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go Okay guys, so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 300k team, the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-3 third variation, but that is only just to get everyone on full chemistry. Once I've, once I've actually shown you the team, I'll then show you what formation you can switch to in game. So with that being said, let's waste no more time and just get straight into the first player. And in the striker position, we do have the one and only, the man himself, Lautaro Martinez, a very overpowered card in this game, a very effective card in this game, and a card which I do recommend recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up for your teams because he is absolutely insane man the finishing ability on this guy is just different gravy the point is if he shoots he scores it's simple as that man if this guy shoots he scores it's crazy he's got 86 agility as well 84 ball control and 87 dribbling which is also another feature that i do like about martinez because you know he's not stiff at all he's very very agile and got good dribbling he's got a little bit of pace about him as well as you guys can see he's got 83 sprint speed and 84 acceleration but overall man he's a fantastic card and then just to top it off just to put the icing on the cake he does indeed have four star skill moves and four star weak foot so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Lautura Martinez he is a fantastic card to use but in the right winger spot we do have the one and only the man himself the sweatiest beastly player in Serie A he goes by the name of Hervan Lozano yes he's low rated yes he's very cheap but still he is very very overpowered he's got the pace of arm he's got the skill moves as you guys can see there four star weak foot um, yeah, 93 sprint speed, 93 acceleration, absolutely ridiculous, 90 agility as well, and 81 dribbling, 80 ball control, he is super, super agile, got decent finishing on him as well, and he will create a lot of chance for the likes of Martinez and for St. Maximin, who is the next player that I was actually going to get into, so yeah, as I just mentioned, in the left wing spot, we do have Alan St. Maximin, and this is a player that I'm actually going to get very, very soon for this upcoming weekend, um, this upcoming weekend league because yeah St. Maximin in this game is just crazy he's overpowered bros when I say he's overpowered he is overpowered he is ridiculous in this game and he is definitely a card which I recommend that you guys go ahead and get for this team because yeah he's absolutely insane and he's just again my kind of player man you guys know that I do love my skill moves and things like that yeah he's got five star skill moves five star weak foot um, I mean, four star weak foot, sorry. Um, 93 sprint speed, 93 acceleration. Yes, he only has 67 finishing, but I'm not going to lie, in game, his finishing is so much better than 67. Again, it kind of like Vinicius Jr. Um, Vinicius Jr. is a player that I love in this game. Very, very similar um, player to St. Maximin. Got the same uh, weak foot, got the same skill moves, the same finishing as well. But I'm not going to lie, in game, it's so much better. Not all the time, um, the stats is a true reflection of their in game ability. But when you guys actually do play with the likes of um, St. Maximin, you will see how good at finishing he is, all right? So make sure you guys go in and use him. You will not regret it. He is actually quite expensive, and that is for a good, good reason, because he's very overpowered in the game. But he's also super agile, got good ball control and good dribbling as well. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Alan St. Maximum. But moving on in towards the midfield, we go in at the central center mid spot. We do have a lovely little cam. He goes by the name of Alejandro Gomez, a very, very overpowered card. Actually did get upgraded as well from his FIFA 21 raids and got a little plus one upgrade which isn't too bad at all but yeah he's a very fantastic card um extremely rapid very very pacey super agile got amazing ball control and dribbling as well good finishing good pace about him there's literally nothing bad you can say about this card man he's perfect
strength, four star skill means four star weak foot. Yes, I know he's small. Yes, he's weak. But I mean, you don't really need big and strong players in this game, especially in the attacking um, part of the in, like, in the attacking field of the game. You know, in defense, yeah, that's when you want your strong players and things like that. But Gomez is very small, nimble, agile, can get around the pitch very, very quickly. And that is something good. Um, that's a good feature to have from a cam um, because it is very, very effective in this game. So, uh, yeah, Alejandro Gomez, fantastic player. I love him. You guys will love him once you actually use him but yeah very very good make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the center the center mid the cdm spot um in the left cdm spot we actually do have musa sissoko bros musa sissoko different gravy man he is incredible and again he is expensive he is 50k for a reason a 79 rated 50k card who would have thought but man musa sissoko he is just a tank he is just a beast um yeah you just can't go wrong with having with having him in your midfield bros um yeah he is just a complete beast man very very good defensively pacey as well yes he's not too he's not really good going forward but yeah defensively crazy bros crazy 90 strength as you guys can see there 91 stamina 76 defensive awareness 81 standing tackles but to be honest his defending stats in game feel a lot higher than what they actually do say on the card and i think everyone watching this video will know that man because Sissoko is just ridiculous so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but in the right cdm spot we do have arta um arta again is a more well-rounded card i'd probably say than um musa Sissoko. the reason why i've gone for arta in this center mid spot is purely because of the fact that his um attacking um, attributes are very very good as well as his defensive attributes so he's a well-rounded player and that is something i feel like you need to have next um, next is Sissoko because Sissoko isn't really that good going forward but he's very very good defensively whereas Arthur's got pretty much got it all you know he's got the passing the dribbling the ball control the composure got a decent finishing as well and decent defending stats so like I said Arta is a well-rounded card and again it's just a very very good player to have next to Sissoko who's more of the um Arthur's more of like the technical man Sissoko is more of just the beast the tank the um pacey midfielder he'll just get around the pitch and just be winning you the ball back that's what Sissoko will be doing and Arta will be playing those through balls to the center mids and um to the wingers and to the strikers as well so yeah alpha is a very very good card um to have next to Sissoko. so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up as well and also he does have four star skill moves which is just a little bonus to have but with that being said let's move on in towards um the two fullback spots and we're going to start off with the left back spot and in this position we do have um lucas hernandez bros Lu uh, no not lucas hernandez my bad his brother theo hernandez theo hernandez um yeah crazy crazy left back one of the best left back in the game just pure pace about him very very good at defending as well you just simply cannot go wrong with using this beastly card bros it's as simple as that you just cannot go wrong he is a fantastic card he's already got an inform as well which is crazy um but yeah i recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up I'm pretty sure you guys watching this video know that as well, that he is insane. Um, yeah, he's got 93 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, 79 slide tackle, 78 standing tackle. Again, just your typical starter, pacey, sweaty fullback. And to be honest, he will still be good even at, um, when it comes to like end game of, of FIFA because he's just got all the attributes a fullback needs. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Theo Hernandez. But to partner up with Hernandez in the fullback spot, we actually do have Juan Cuadrado, a five-star skiller at right back. I mean, you can't really complain can you pacey good at defending at and actually very very good going forward he's good on the ball as well that's something that i really 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 do love about quadrado is that he's good on the ball he's super agile got amazing dribbling amazing ball control which is just very very good because there's not many fullbacks in this game with that um, amount amount of agility and I, to be honest i think quadrado is like the only fullback in the game to have such high agility um a very pace as well good defending stats again you just simply cannot go wrong five star skill moves as well I mean, how can you complain? Make sure you guys go ahead and get Quadrado, a very, very overpowered card in this game. But with that being said, we move on in towards the center of Barque partnership. And we're going to start off with the, the um, right center back spot. And again, we do have a beastly, beastly player, man. He goes by the name of Mateus Delict. Mateus Delict, man, he is quite fast. He's not the fastest, but he's got a decent amount of pace. He's steady. Um, If you want to increase that pace a bit more, all you've got to do is slap like a shadow on him. And then bang, his pace will increase. But um, yeah, Delict, Mateus Delict, very, very overpowered card, man. And a decent amount of pace as you guys can see there 68 acceleration 75 sprint speed but very very good defensively very strong as well as you guys can see there 88 strength 85 stand tackle 86 defensive awareness 83 interceptions 82 standing tackle so again a very very good card a fantastic card so make sure you guys go ahead and get him and to partner up with Mateus Delic we do have Upemakano in the left center back spot um again he is just a very very good um center back to use in this game very very fast strong good at defending 
um, a little bit cheap as well. But again, I think everyone will enjoy using this card because he's got all the attributes a, a, a center back needs, man. As you guys can see, 84 sprint speed. Yes, I know he starts off slow, but um, yeah, he's still very, very fast with 84 sprint speed. He's got 84 standing tackle as well, 90 strength as well. So I just think this partnership of Upamakano and Mateus Delict is very, very overpowered. And that is why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and use those two. And then for the goalkeeper spot, ladies and gentlemen, we do have Gulaski getting that strong link to Upamakano. And Gulaski, he should, he should get a good job done, man, in that goalkeeper spot. Very, very overpowered in the game. Got good diving, got good handling, got good reflexes. Um, and yeah, he's a player He's a player that I've used before in this game. That's how I know that. And um, yeah, very, very good. Fantastic card to you. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. But guys, as you can see, this is the insane 300k high-risk squad builder that you guys want to use in FIFA 21, man. Honestly, you can destroy your opponents in foot champions with this team. So make sure you guys go ahead and get it. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. All you guys have to do is just pass the ball to St. Maximin. He'll do some mad skill moves. Dribble in the box. Bang, sway it to Martinez. And it's a goal. It's literally that simple. But seriously, in all seriousness, guys, um, yeah, this team is crazy. So make sure you guys go ahead and get it. But we're not done here yet. I'm going to quickly show you guys what formation to change to. And that formation is the 4-2-3-1 formation, man. Make sure you guys change to this formation. It just works really well. I love it in this game. And uh, yeah, so just make sure you guys go ahead and use it. Um, yeah, it will work fantastic for you guys. And in this formation, this is how you guys want to set up. Martinez up top, St. Maximin left cam, um, Alejandro Gomez central cam, and then uh, Lozano right cam, Arta and um, Sissoko as a two CDM. So yeah, make sure you guys set up like that. You just cannot go wrong with this team. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick it up. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this insane team. Give it a rating out of 10 on all that good stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys do smash the like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications as well. And also, sorry for no gameplay today, guys. I just can't afford this team myself yet. I just about have, um, I'm just underneath 300k. So I don't have um, enough to afford this team. But yeah, I'm still providing a lot of gameplay videos um, this year for you guys regardless. So uh, yeah. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out my last video. I did upload gameplay in that, not my career mode. My last squad builder, my 50k squad builder, I did gameplay in that. And even like a, a 100k squad builder, I did. There's gameplay in that. So make sure you guys go check that out down in the description below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video though. It's been your boy RB Place. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.